Sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk. Carjacking old lady at a red light. Pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. You think it's cool, I'll act a fool if you like. Cuss out a cop, spit in his face. Stomp on the flag and light it up. Yeah, you think it's tough. Well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Around here we take care of our own. You cross that line, it won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't. Try that in a small town. Well, that was Jason Aldean's music video for his song, Try That in a Small Town. You've probably seen or at least heard about it by now, as it's caused quite the controversy over this last week. Just a side note, but this song came out back in May and no one said a peep about it. That was until Aldean released the music video on Friday, and now the left is trying to cancel him. Critics are accusing the country singer and his song of being racist and pro-lynching. But if you read or listen to the lyrics, Saldin is talking about people who carjack, steal, burn, flags, etc. And he says they shouldn't try that in a small town. The critics automatically assumed he's talking about black people, which, if you think about it, just proves they're the ones being racist. With that being said, the woke mob did actually get to CMT, or Country Music Television, who announced this week that it has removed his video from its rotation after receiving intense backlash. But despite all this controversy, Aldine's Try That in a Small Town is now number one on iTunes' top songs and music video charts. So I guess there really is no such thing as bad publicity. I'd like to bring on Natasha Owens to discuss this, patriot and recording artist. Natasha, thanks so much for being with us. It's great to have you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. So what do you make of all this controversy we're seeing following the release of the video for Jason Aldean's new song? I mean, is it really even controversial or is the liberal left-wing media making it that way by overreacting yet again? They are making that way by overreacting. They did the same thing to me back in March when I put out my number one song called Trump One. Anything that goes against their rhetoric or goes, goes towards family, God, uh, our founding fathers, everything has to be canceled by the left. And we're just done with it. We have the ability to create songs and put things out there that we're being censored on. And, you know, this cancel mob, they, they want to find something every time and they want to throw out the R word. And the racist word is used all the time, way too much, and it doesn't hold water. Yeah. Jason Alvin is just saying what I have heard thousands of people say over the past three or four years. You have these thugs going into major cities, burning it down, burning down businesses, burning the flag, spitting up and attacking cops. And they think that that's OK because they don't they get away with it. They don't go to jail. There's not an equal justice system in the cities because you have these sort of bat DAs that are uh, allowing them to get away with this behavior. And I've heard it, I've said it a, ma a, a million times. If you go out to a small town of people who believe in justice and, law and lawlessness is abolished because the rule of law applies in these small towns, people actually don't look at color. They don't look at your political belief. They watch out for you because you're a part of their community. And so I think that's what Jason was just trying to say is it's a different world in the biggest cities where the left run rampant compared to the God fearing uh, country and little small towns of, of America. And that's the heartbeat of America is not in the cities, but in small towns. Yeah, that's so true. And I don't really think anything he said was, you know, <laughs> racist or anything worth complaining about in any way, because it's just facts. It's true. It's what America is founded upon. And we should have the right to talk about that and sing about it if we want to. And I think it shows because this is clearly what America wants. I mean, the song is number one right now. So I think most people agree with you, me and Jason on this matter. But here's what I don't get. If people want to get mad about something, if the left wants to spew their ridiculous garbage, perhaps they should look to really any other song that's considered popular or trendy or is embraced by Hollywood these mm -hmm. days. In this case, I'll just use WAP as an example. Let's throw up the lyrics here on the screen so you can see what we're working with here. Uh, mind you, of course, WAP was played just about everywhere. I mean, there's countless videos online of children singing along and even twerking to this garbage. I mean, it's really just devastating. 
Natasha, why do you think this debauchery is promoted and deemed worthy? But a song that stands for good old fashioned <laughs> traditional American values is censored and condemned. Because that's what they want. Uh, that's what they want to create. They want to create lawlessness. They, this is an attack upon Christianity, which is the founding foundations which America was founded on. This is a battle between good and evil, between Christians and atheists and people that, you know, Satanists that do not believe in, in godly things. The majority of Americans believe they're Christian and they believe in godly things. We are still the majority. And they're trying, they think that if they just yell these certain words and pitch a fit, that people are going to jump. And that's the problem. These companies in society, these radio stations in these genres of music, uh, they think it's okay to sing about murder and rape and sexual things that are inappropriate for adults to hear, much less kids, and that's okay. That tells you right there that what they're trying to peddle to us and make us believe uh, of their righteous agenda is not righteous at all. It, it's, it's evil, and it, we have to stand up and fight against that. We absolutely do. You're so right. It's so clearly a spiritual battle. It's good versus evil. And they just want to normalize the degradation of society. And it's not normal and it's not okay. And we will not stand for it. So that's why I think it's such a prime opportunity for so many people to rise to the occasion as you have done, as Jason is doing, to, to really make some much needed changes here, right? We need to get the entertainment industry back on the right track. And I think there's such a a deep desire for that and need for that right now uh, with all of the garbage that's out there. I think people just really want, you know, classic, good, traditional American values instilled back into entertainment. So I'm so glad that people like you and him are doing just that. Um, the song, as I said, is now number one on the charts and the video has been viewed well over a million times on YouTube alone. So I think we know where the American people stand, uh, given it's just complete overnight success. But why do you think CMT made the decision to pull the video from their circulation? I mean, CMT is country music. Do they not know who their audience is? They don't. And I've said it many times, Nashville's too woke for their audience. When you look at, at one of the CMT awards this past year, they had transgenders. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're doing a tribute to the Nashville shooting victims with transgenders and Kelsey Ballerina on, on the stage. So they're allowing it because they're too afraid um, to come up against these this this woke mob, they're also too afraid to stand up for what's right. It's easier just to bulk to them because they don't want to be hated and they don't want to be persecuted at this point. That's the problem with the Christians. They're doing the same thing. They're not standing up, pushing back against this agenda. Yeah, you're right. We need all Christians to stand up and be fearless during this time and be unafraid to just speak the truth. So it's we really have some work to do, I think, but I think people are getting there, hopefully slowly but surely. Uh, of course, we have sellouts like Cheryl Crow chiming in on this matter, tweeting, quote, at Jason Aldean, I'm from a small town. Even people in small towns are sick of violence. There's nothing small town or American about promoting violence. You should know that better than anyone having survived a mass shooting. And, you know, I've got to say to Cheryl, seeing as Jason Aldean did indeed survive a mass shooting, he himself would probably know better than just about anyone the importance of guns, right? Wouldn't you say? I mean... Why do these liberals continue defending violence committed by legitimate criminal, criminals, excuse me, but someone who simply wants to protect themselves, courtesy of our Second Amendment, are shamed and canceled? Well, they're not going to condemn someone on their side, right? If she was really worried about violence, she would have condemned in the video and three and four years ago when Antifa and BLM were, were burning down our cities. Not a peep from any of these, any of these. Yep. So, um, you know, she kind of is agreeing with Jason in the fact that she, small towns are, they are fed up with the violence. They're fed up with this woke left agenda and they're, and they're done. And so you're seeing people waking up and you're seeing people start pushing back. Yep. And we have to allow the trend to continue. We got to keep it going and keep the pressure on these people and keep making great alternatives that everyone wants to listen to like you're doing, Natasha. Thank you so much for joining us today and weighing in. Where can people go to find and follow you and, and get your music as well? They can go to NatashaOwensMusic.com and that's a platform that sends you out to, to everywhere you can find my music. Thank you so much, Natasha. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. 
All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.